yeah, we were just slightly off, especially second half defensively, just a little bit. Um, we've been really good at anticipating um, situations a lot quicker and dealing with them. And um, I felt we were just a little bit reactive tonight in certain situations defensively. Um, but look, we we knew they would come out of the, out of the blocks, you know, at home with a big crowd. Um, first ten minutes, um, I thought they started well, but which we expected. We got through that period and then started to make some really good counter attacks and dangerous situations for us. We got the goal. Um, I felt that we started to have a bit more more of the control of the game at that point. Um, the crucial factor there is that we should have scored the second. You know, that's the, that's the critical probably mistake that we didn't do is, was get that second um, goal, which we should have done. We had a clear penalty on Bartley. Um, that could have given us an opportunity to get the second. Then we had a couple more chances, especially from set police pieces and a couple of attacks that we should have got the second. We didn't. And then we made the critical mistake of conceding just before half-time, literally the last kick of the game, which was down to, like I said, that little bit of lack. It was more, we talked about it before the game, we've been really good at anticipating those type of situations. We were too reactive and, and they got the goal. And um, Second half and then they come out and score two quick goals. From our point of view, they're poor goals for us to concede. Um, and then we're chasing the game. So uh, we managed to get one back. We had an opportunity with Kamar at the end, probably to get that equaliser. So... Fine margins. I thought it was a game, to be honest. I thought it was quite scrappy. I thought um, neither team really took great control of long periods with possession. Um, I thought it was to and fro in terms of control. And then, um, yeah, like a derby game like you expect, there was tackles and physical, but I wouldn't say there was too much great football that was played, to be honest, from both sides. So um, disappointed to lose the game. But I think it's that feeling that we haven't had for a while where we've, to lose a game. I think... Um, so everyone wants to ask questions about it, but to be honest with you, I just said to the players there is that, that we've been playing at such a high level and high, such a high standard that we will have this odd, odd game every now and then where we don't perform at our usual high levels. And the key is that we've already proved in the past that we can react in the next game. And, and that's, our, that's our, um, our focus now, is straight after the game now, is to focus on Wednesday and put the feeling that we have now into the game on Wednesday. Is that the good thing, that there is a game coming up so quickly for you? Yeah, but that's the championship. It's... So many games, and you can see how competitive every single game is. It doesn't matter whether you're bottom of the league, top of the league, or, or anywhere. It's so competitive, and um, it's very hard to beat your complete peak every single game because physically it's very demanding. So um, I thought we were just slightly, like I said, especially defensively, just slightly off what we normally are. Like I said, we're normally very good at anticipating situations, but um, we weren't tonight, and it, it cost us three goals. So. Um, I felt that we deserved something from the game as an overall game or an overall performance from both teams. I felt we deserved something from the game, but we didn't. There's no excuses. We move on and we use the feeling that we have right now to make sure it's determined that we, we get the right result on Wednesday. You were keen to emphasise no one got carried away when you were winning and you seemed yeah. quite level-headed. That, you know, it's just a blip. Yeah, look, it's um, like I said, because we've been performing at such a high level of performances um, over a long period now. Is I guess when you've get the disappointment of not quite being at that level. Um, yeah, it feels it feels very hard to take. But look, we know how the players work. We know what they are. We know that they're a work in progress as well. Um, we're doing tremendous to be where we are and, and how we've been performing. Um, but even tonight, we, we probably could have got something from the game. We probably deserved overall to get something from the game. But we haven't. But what we have done in the past as well is whenever we suffered, we react straight away. And that's a sign of a good team. So that's the challenge for us is on Wednesday to make sure that we react and we... I'm sure that we will at Ellen Road and have a full crowd going there and I'm ready to put on a good performance. You've got Janssen back after suspension. What about Sacco and Taylor? Any chance for them for Wednesday? Um, no, Coop should be back as well. Hopefully, um, Hadi will be back as well. Um, so, of course, having everyone available to you is important. Charlie, probably not. Um, but, yeah, as many as we can get our, our players back out onto the field and, and in with us and compare for, for playing the games, then the better. Um, but, look... The group are doing tremendously well. You know, yes, we suffered a defeat tonight. We probably shouldn't have, but we have. So no excuses. We're, we'll make sure that we get a good reaction on Wednesday.